In life, there are decisions that completely change our path. For Chiyoko Taguchi, this was her marriage to a U.S. Marine. Chiyoko was born on February 17, 1940, in Okinawa. As the U.S. military attacks on Okinawa intensified, she and her mother escaped to Minami Daito, a tiny tropical island only three miles long, leaving behind her siblings and father. Despite this, she recalled as a child hiding in caves as bombs exploded outside. At the age of 16, she returned to Okinawa for high school. Over the next years, she would meet an American soldier, Charles Swartz, stationed in Okinawa, whom she would eventually fall in love with and marry. This marriage sparked conflicts among both families and the surrounding communities as interracial marriage wasn't accepted and Okinawan hostility towards U.S. soldiers was high. In January of 1966, as her husband earned a job, Chioka packed her bags for America with her four-year-old daughter and another child coming. With only a few kimonos, photographs, hand-sewn clothes, and kate and kaku zensho, a Japanese medical and parenting reference book, she traveled to the U.S. She bought this book just days before leaving, hoping to help herself manage her pregnancy and growing family in an unfamiliar culture. As she left the life she knew for America, feelings of fear and anxiety overcame her. She would not only leave behind her life for a land where everything seemed different, but also her family and support system. This book served as her support, a source of both information and confidence, as she faced new motherhood on her own, providing her with information in her own language on how to care for her growing family. They arrived at a port of entry in Hawaii, and after a few days, they left for their new home, La Crescent, Minnesota. Getting off the plane, she was not sure if she wanted to stay. With no winter clothes, the new family walked onto the tarmac into Minnesota winter, quite a change from the island of Okinawa. The mixed race family was viewed as an oddity by some and met with hostility by others, as anti-Japanese settlement was still alive. As the only Japanese, she could hardly communicate with anyone. But no matter how she felt, with the assurance of her book, she was able to care for her family in an unfamiliar world. After a few months, the family resettled in the Los Angeles area. Her family continued to grow, three more children by 1969. With no support network, she was anxious about how to take care of her growing family in this new place. However, there were more Japanese and Okinawans in Southern California and through new friendships made in English classes, a Japanese-American church, and an Okinawan club, she gradually built a support system and became comfortable in America. Her book remained an important resource, one she used throughout her life, not just for information, but reassurance and confidence. Mm -hmm.